Hello everyone and welcome! With the recent introduction of the new Saracen Unique Technology by Maristan, Age of Empires 2 adds yet another aura-based mechanic to the ever-expanding list already found in the game. Players now have before them no fewer than seven structures and units that create auras. Will we see more introduced in the future, or have we seen as many as we're going to see? Before we dive into that question, let's take a look at what an aura mechanic actually is. An aura is a fixed set of tiles that expand outwards from a structure or a unit and creates an area of effect that surrounds that structure or unit. Some auras, like those emanating from buildings, are square or squircle in shape. Others, like those emanating from units, are circular. A quick example, looking at the Polish Folwerk, we see that it has an aura that expands four tiles in each direction from the structure itself. This creates a 121 square tile area of effect, minus the tiles for the structure, of course. Within this area of effect, there's usually some benefit bestowed upon friendly units or structures that makes them perform military or economic tasks a little bit better. Whether your villagers mine resources faster or your military units are made stronger, the auras currently found in Age of Empires 2 are important elements of their civilization's overall meta and strategy. Given how powerful they can be, it's of the utmost importance for players to understand and master the auras available to them. For example, the Hindustani Caravanserai creates an area of effect stretching outwards eight tiles in every direction. Any friendly trade carts that find themselves moving inside this area of effect are both healed at a rate of 1 HP per second and move 20% faster. In team games where trade is of the utmost importance, the Caravanserai serves a dual purpose. It helps players accumulate trade gold faster and protects their precious cargo from enemy raids. When a player seeds or reseeds a farm entirely within the area of effect of a Polish Folwerk, the player automatically collects 8% of the food that that farm has. So, if you plant a fresh, fertile 175 food farm inside the Folwerk's area of effect, 14 McNuggets are automatically added to your coffers, leaving the farm with 161 food left for you to gather. For a civilization hell bent on spamming its knights and cavaliers with a ridiculous discount on gold, but not on food, Immediately gathering 8% of a farm's bounty is invaluable. Celtic castles became aura-based not too long ago with the reworked Stronghold technology. Stretching out seven tiles in each direction from the edge of the castle, Stronghold heals friendly infantry units who find themselves wandering around inside this area of effect. Since the healing happens at a rate of 30 HP per minute, and infantry units generally aren't HP heavyweights, the faster-moving Celtic infantry can sneak out of the castle without telling mom and dad, do a little raiding, and then come back and heal up for a minute or two. Having castles with passive healing capabilities definitely helps create attack hubs and troop gathering points for a civilization whose offensive capabilities are already legendary. The most recent aura-based mechanic to be introduced into Age of Empires 2 came with one of its most recent civilizations, the Georgians. A Georgian fortified church creates an aura that stretches out eight tiles from the edge of the church. Any villager who finds himself working in this area of effect will work 10% faster. Having a bunch of these structures strategically placed around a base does help the Georgians quickly gather the resources they need to ramp up Manaspa production while keeping their economic engine pretty damn safe from raiding. Speaking of the Manaspa, this potentially very powerful cavalry unit creates an aura that stretches out 15 tiles in each direction. If there are five other Manaspas or Nightline units within this area of effect, then the Manaspas all get a plus one attack boost. This caps out at plus four, and is pretty similar to how Lithuanian Lechai get a free plus one attack boost for every relic that they gather. Similar concept, different execution. The Georgian Manaspa isn't the only cavalry unit in the game to benefit from an aura mechanic. Also a recent addition to the game, the Roman Centurion, while being a pretty decent cavalry unit in its own right, uses an aura to benefit units under its command. A basic Centurion creates an aura 10 tiles in each direction that grows to 12 tiles when upgraded to an elite Centurion. Any Roman Militia Line units within this area of effect move 10 or 15% faster and attack 20% faster. For a civilization whose top of the line Militia unit already comes with both a charge attack and an attack bonus against other infantry, getting a boost to movement and attack speeds seems almost unfair. Last but not least, we come to the bald man of the hour, the Saracen Monk, who can now passively heal all friendly non-siege land units around him, even if he's busy converting an enemy or carrying a relic. With the Bimerison technology, Saracen Monks project a five-tile aura in each direction. Within this area of effect, all units mentioned are healed simultaneously at a rate of 75 HP per minute. 
The longevity of the Saracen army, which has some pretty powerful units, just got a whole lot better. It's also worth pointing out that there are units in the game that benefit from eeny teeny tiny areas of effect. Units like the Hussite Wagon, which creates a small area of effect that reduces the damage to friendly units done by enemy projectiles. Trample Damage is also a good example of a tiny area of effect that extends a small distance from a unit. Whether or not these mechanics can be technically characterized as quote-unquote auras, I leave up to the brainier people. Until a verdict is rendered, I'll enjoy watching Slavic champions with Druzhina mow down any trash units silly enough to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The bottom line is that auras exist in the Age world. They can be found in Age of Mythology, as well as in Age of Empires 3 and 4. Will 7 be the final number of auras in Age of Empires 2, or will we get to see more introduced in the future? And if more are coming, what will they look like? Will they continue to be passive, like the ones that exist now, or will they need to be activated by some hotkey that a player has to press? Will they be in effect for the entire time a structure or unit exists, or will there be a timer on any benefit that's conferred? For example, a 10 second window when attacks can become stronger. Will auras only create benefits for a player, or will any of them work by hurting an opposing player? Imagine, for example, a unit whose aura makes enemies move and attack slower. An opposite world centurion, if you will. Will the area of effect of auras remain fixed, or will we see an aura that can expand and contract? Will there be auras that affect buildings instead of units? Place a brothel next to a barracks and units train just a little bit faster. Will there be an enemy counter aura that can cancel out the impact of your aura? And if there will be more and diverse auras introduced, will the game's interface adapt alongside? Will we be able to see which units or structures are receiving the benefit within the aura, perhaps by a small icon or badge, or something similar to a hero unit glow? The possibilities are endless. I personally hope we get to see at least a few more auras being introduced, perhaps with some defensive characteristics, on the whole, auras introduce an interesting dynamic to our venerable game, one that can definitely help to spice up gameplay. And while the auras of some other games walk a very fine line between game mechanic and spellcasting, I think the developers of Age of Empires 2 have done a great job introducing auras while keeping the nature of the game unaffected. That being said, I also understand that there are Age traditionalists who do not want to see any such aura mechanic introduced into the game, and I kind of get it. Who can blame anyone for not wanting to tinker around with such a fantastic game? At the end of the day, my opinion is just one of thousands. I want to hear what you have to say, so I put it to the Vox Populi. Are we going to see more auras in Age of Empires 2? And if so, which ones would you like to see? And while we're on the subject, are there other gameplay mechanics you'd like to see introduced into the game? Is there something from maybe another game that you think could be useful or helpful in ours? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Until we meet again, good luck and have fun. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips and make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you're notified of my latest uploads.